mic check. Ayun. Kabadong morning sa inyong lahat. Kani uh, today, good morning everyone. Uh kabado cuz today is one of the biggest hurdles of ISM. Uh Miss Latel mainly, 'di ba? Um pag-uusapan nat uh, nasa Senate na ngayon si Miss Latel. Uh what are my thoughts about it? Uh, I'm gonna be sharing this to you today. Ayan. Tsaka si PHA may napakagandang disclosure po um, They will be starting to roll out at i-implement na po nila yung 15 billion na ano 15 billion at um, investment to them uh, second quarter this year So that's gonna be very big uh, We'll talk about that Also, ano pwede mangyari kay uh, PHA today? Congratulations sa mga nang, nanalo kay PHA who applied lessons yesterday. So, well, nakapag-scalping na yung mga tao. <laughs> right sa, ano, nakapag-momentum ng trade na yung mga tao sa chatroom. I saw their po- uh, I saw, saw their comment, comments. Right, shout out to those um, andon sa chatroom natin. So, if you're not yet in there, uh, better sorry ang katter ng ilong ko na naman uh, better 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 uh, join the chat room we'll talk about that in a while sorry napakaingay ng doggy ko si Bordetoy ang bigay ko na si Bordetoy right so yan pag-usapan natin yan ngayon uh, if you're watching the replay of the video please move forward to around 25 minutes uh, 25 minutes po uh, sa video because uh, that's where the discussion will start that's around 8.40 In the morning here, let me double check my audio. Five minutes. Yan. So, taka lang ha, ang ingay ng, ano ka, ng aso ko. Alright, sorry about that. Sorry, yan. Ah, uh, yung asa ko nangungulit. <laughs> um ayun, um I'm gonna go to your comments now and greetings if you have anything to say, anything to ask, any request, post it on the comments. Uh let's start. Good morning, good morning to my daughter Laika. Good morning everyone. Dana Angela, good morning Sir Lloyd, Laika and Bido. <laughs> and sali na si Bido eh, ng ingay sa labas ni Bido. Um Ella Montefalco, good morning. The Destroyer 2383, good morning then. Vince Gotera, good morning. Um Arjel Mendoza, morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Sana sir maging maganda kalabasan ng hearing uh, sa Senate. Mamaya. Hopefully, hopefully, yes. We'll talk about that in a while. Anong, anong pwedeng mangyari? Uh, worst case scenario, Renulfo Ferzas, may buntag coach and Laika. Padayon pa ka si PHA karon. Uh, we'll talk about that kasi may magandang disclosure si PHA. And, and, and overall, napakamura niya pa rin with the money that they have right now. So I think still gonna go up. Hops, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ano po, uh, ano po bio nyo kay ISM and CLC? Is it really make or break scenario? Charge request po sa CLC, TUGS, Primex, ATN, Uh, Mer, thanks. Ayan. So, pag-usapan natin yan. Very good, uh, very good, uh, ano, question, ano, hops. So, yeah, it's CLC, Tugs, Primex, ATN, and Mer. Right, those are very good companies. Si Mer, AT, uh, si ATN. Uh, nga pala, may picks ako ngayon. Um, here are my picks for today. Uh, before that, guys, I want to request, mayroon ako naman ako request sa inyo. Please po, pakishare ang video sa Facebook walls niyo And to your trading groups, if you can. Para po ang mga newbies doon is malaman nila na may program na ganito that can help them. Also, um, yan, sa so mga friends ninyo so that they will be curious about stock market that is gonna help them and also help the market overall pag marami na po tayo sa stock market. Because that's really the goal of, one of the goal of uh, Financial Freedom 101, mas marami pa pong Pinoy yung pumasok sa stock market. Sa yung opportunity, yung mga mayayaman lang ang kumikita dito. <laughs> diba? So, pati naman yung ano, mga hindi pa nasa ano pa, yung kaya naman mag-ipon but at least uh, we'll, we can introduce them this to them so that they'll be aware of the opportunity. And so pakishare po. Also subscribe to the channel. Yung mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe sa uh, channel ko, YouTube channel ko, please subscribe. And tignan ko nga if uh, meron akong and so wala. Tinanggal ko yung zombie ko eh kasi ang gulo. Andito na ako sa gilid ngayon so matatakpan yung mukha ko kung lumalabas yung zombie. But anyways, thank you so much sa mga magsasubscribe. Ber- Bernadette Abyo, good morning Sir Lloyd. Good morning to my daughter Jasmine from mom and my mom Edna. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Bernadette, Jasmine, and Edna. Alright? Uh, Mami Edna. 
uh, tatlo kayo, all girls who are ano, or watching. <laughs> it's a good morning. Getting good morning. Um, go Joel Gales morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Joel, hindi ka una unang comment ngayon. Right, <laughs> Tristan for Gales. Good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Angat pa po ba ang PHA? Pwede pa po sumakay. We'll talk about that. There's a very good catalyst today. So most probably will. Let's let's see. Ganda umaga po, Sir Lloyd. Uh, from Estela Sanchez. Good morning, Zion. <clears throat> Sir, good morning. I already have TBGA shares. Okay po ba mag-add more since maganda naman ang volume kahapon. Thanks. Um, better if you add more on the retracement na lang. Uh, but since okay naman siya overall, if you're investing in it, okay lang naman if if investor ka but if you're a trader i don't want to recommend na mag uh, magdagdag ka sa taas kasi pag bumagsak yan mawawala yung earnings mo so mm, wait la lang for the retracement uh, before you wanna get in um, but if you're in it for um f- as the tel- as the telco is gonna be uh, moving on so most probably this is gonna be good for long term then Right, so yeah, um, you can always add anytime. Well, mura pa siya overall. Uh, so nyan bumagsak bila yung comments one moment. Uy, thank you so much, Dana Angela, for the, uh, for this for the donation. That's a very big help. Um, that will go a long way. Napagala guys, if you wanna consider donating to the channel, if you like my contents, if and consider helping it, um, you can click on the dollar button sa tabi ng smiley. That's the super chat. Yeah, pwede po kayo mag-sponsor uh, ng uh, ng episodes natin para po ano para po mapatuloy matulungan po nyo po ako rin mapatuloy itong program na ito Ro- Rose Love Luzon good morning po Sir Lloyd ano po ba ceiling ng TBGI bakit ceiling ang iniisip natin do not do not don't make that as your goal on on trading but uh, let's see magkano ba ang ceiling niya daw ngayon try to open my to trade Asia Prime one moment please magbukas lang ako ng uh, platform ko um, si stock si TBGI TB GI so um, so and let me just zoom in um, ceiling niya ngayon uh, what to call this the ceiling point 53 hindi pa nag update ito so most probably later pa ito pero ang laki ng selling ni ano eh laki ng selling ni TBGI so most probably it's gonna be a doing a pullback today look at the uh, bid and ask uh, na ano bid and ask na uh, debt uh, yung bar niya pulang pula meaning 14, 14 million stocks are on on sale right now so, top 5 pa lang yan so mas marami pa so I think TBGI is gonna be Retracing first. Eh, mas maganda if bumagsak muna siya. Let's see. Um, tingnan natin magkano opening TVGI. Nirecommend ko siya ngayon for the strategy. Um, yung strategy ni TVGI is for breakout. So, tingnan natin sa opening. Uh, mag-adjust ba ito or hindi. Anyways, let's continue. Rose Love Luzon. Good morning po sir. Ano pa ba ceiling? Tingnan, ma- maya pa natin makikita at around 9 o'clock. Robert Baluyot, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pag-greet po naman ng daughter ko, si uh, Kisa and Renzi listening to you. Wow, very cute names. Good morning sa inyo, Robert and to your do- lovely daughters. Cheers, John Pablo. Pablo, hi po sir. Di po late pumasok ng PHA. Depends, right? Um, The strategy ngayon kay PHA, yun yung tinuro ko kahapon. Momentum trades na lang tayo dyan, scalping na lang. You cannot, um, actually pwede namang investor Kung investor kayo, be ready. Kung maipit man kayo, mag, mag-average down kayo. So, it's gonna be very hard for position trading here kay BHA. So, ang pwede natin gawin dyan is scalping na lang talaga day trading. Hopefully, marunong po kayo nyan. Right? So, meron ako episode yesterday. Um, yun po ang i-apply nyo na lang. Right? Huwag na po kayo magpo-position trade dyan because there's no position there. Um, kung pa position man kayo ngayon, make sure ready handa kayo maging investor. So, I'm not I'm not really sure if you are ready for that. So, yan. Nanette Mill, good morning Sir Lloyd and good morning to my daughter Jen. Good morning sa iyo Nanette and your daughter Monette Lagman. Good morning Sir Lloyd and to your family. Insights po kay BPI, Ali and Bloom. Let, let's check these three out. Uh sulat ko muna ito. 
Alright, so Rosemary Senda, good morning from Japan. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Uh, Mark Maurice Angeles, good morning Sir Lloyd. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's Jose Marie Diaz, good morning Sir. Kung ngayon palang papasok kay PHA, pwede bang i-consider na for long term? Actually, with the disclosure, with the with the money of um, PHA right now, I cannot recommend it for long term actually. right? I cannot recommend it for long term. Why? We are not seeing their numbers yet. So basically, I want to recommend long term kung meron tayong magandang fundamentals talaga. So right now, investment pala nakikita natin that just boosted their, uh, that just boosted their, uh, what they call this, um, f- uh, their value. Pero yung long term value niya, right? So ito yung sinasabi, uh, long term value meaning like SMPH, how, this, how stable are them. GFC, these are very stable stocks. BDO, I cannot consider them for long term yet because we haven't seen numbers. mga after two to three years, kapag masasabi if it's good for long term, if maganda ba yung uh, growth niya talaga magsusustain ba? Right now, it's just a sudden spike of growth. So until na hit natin yung parang pressure niya, we can let go of it right away. And then I cannot say if it's for long term pa to hold it in the long term. Wala pa tayong fundamentals talaga chan. So, I cannot consider it for long term. Just to answer Jose Mario Diaz's question and 3D print with Good morning, Sir Lloyd. ISM poser. Thank you. Ipit ako sa ISM. Investor mo na ako. Let's all talk about it. Nilang naman ikaw, pati ako. Alright, um, uh, I want to show you my port. Ako po, ay ipit kay ISM. But I don't consider myself ipit talaga. Because I was expecting for it to drop, really. Right? Gusto ko pong bumagsak si... <laughs> Actually, gusto ko pong bumagsak si ISM. Bakit? Because I am an investor in it. Hindi lang si Third Telco, si, ano, si, uh, si, you din na mismo. Right, um, ganito kasi, for these kinds of stocks, it's not about the short-term gains that matters. Ang, ang labanan po natin dito is paramihan ng hawak na stocks. And how can I hold more stocks in these companies, right? Paramihan po ng volume. Right now, my volume is napakaliit lang. Right? So, I'm really w- planning to buy more in the future, buy more in the future, buy more in the future. Kasi, hindi po yayaman dito kung iisal, uh, 100,000 lang ang hawak nyo, 200,000 lang. No, it doesn't work like that. Long-term stocks, paramihan ng hole yan. So, I am waiting for it to go further down so I can buy more sa stock na ito. Um, somehow, my call financial is not loading well. Ayan. So, um, ipit din ako. Kaya SM, if you wanna consider this as ipit, but I don't really think it's ipit because I'm happy that it's going down, right? Um, naghahanda na po ako ng pera to buy more ISM. Especially in my main port, um, uh, andun na, naghahanda na yon. Whatever happens after 31, uh, after the Senate hearing, if ever it moves up, then I'll be starting to slowly accumulate more kay ISM. So, here it is. ISM um, on this port, um, negative 6.59% po ako. Uh, eto, si PHA, 300% na. Grabe. Alright. So, natitira kong dati. This is just around ano eh, um, 20k na lang. Alright. I, I put in 40, uh, I put in around uh, no, no, around 30,000 in this stock on this port. And then, yung nag-sell half na ako. So, bali, napuhunan ko lang dito na tira is 15K. And, yun, naging 46,000. So, amazing, amazing. And then, it's not yet stopping. <laughs> right? So, yun. Um, kay, yan. So, this is my port right now. I pula ako kay Tugo. Right? Anyway, hindi pa naman na-hit yung cut loss kay Tugo. Um, ATN is still there. I think ATN is still good to go. And, linagyan ko lang na 18 yan to prove my point na maganda yan in the future and KATN. Actually, for trading purposes lang talaga to and so that I can show people my position. So, and si BDO, maganda pa rin si BDO. CLI, uh, still doing good. CLI is in an uptrend. CPG, uptrend na si CPG. So, kung makita na. Ayan, si ISM. Right? Congratulations kay JFC. Yung mga pumasok kay JFC uh, kahapon, nag all time. Hi. Alright, so, yun. Um, ipit din ako kay, ano, kay ISM, but not worrying that much because I'm really planning to buy more. Hindi naman short term ang punteria ko dyan. Plus, my loss is being eaten by PHS gain. So, wala kong problema. Um, Daniel Abarquez. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, then Brit MMI. Again, guys, I just want to make that point, right? Uh, for ISM, if you are in it for long term, it's your stock na long term. It's not about how much, just how much your volume is. It's really how 
big your volume talaga ah, sorry con- contradicting yun how much you you're gonna win uh, in the f- next few months it's not about that this is for long term so uh, I'll take advantage of any moment I can buy more stocks with my money that's more value for your money right so ISM um, and dami na sasabing tatlong piso daw babagsak yan we discussed about that no it was it will not it's not the value is not 3 pesos ni I, uh, ni ISM ni Udena right it's just that they gave it as a special offer for ISM para pumayag si ISM kasi pag mababa mo ibibigay kay ISM yung stocks mo meaning they're getting more value baliktad kasi kasi you know offer, you know, offer binibili mo sila eh, ba using your stocks so if you give your stocks at a lower price they're getting more value because in return they're getting more stocks of Udena so kaya pumayag si ISM ba so but doesn't mean na tatlong piso si Udena they're just offering it alangan naman sabihin ko bigay namin sa'yo stocks na Udena with the exact exact amount kung papayag ba kayo I don't think so they're not getting much value kaya binabaan po ni Udena para pumayag ka agad sila mas marami mas malaki po ang kinita nila that way kasi stocks lang naman ang ginamit mong bayad diba? it's, it's still a risk if ever kasi pera I mean stocks ang tatanggapin nila uh, but they believe in it plus they're getting very good value it's just a special offer to them yung tatlong piso hindi po para sa atin yan thank you so much Ed. um Amil Angelo Sir Lloyd maraming salamat ulit sa learnings thank you so much for the support right, for the donation and um so yun um these long term stocks paramihan po ng volume palakihan ng volume this is these are opportunities that you can uh, you can buy more in these stocks right so, huwag kayong mag-alala dyan kay ISM, right? Daniel Abarquez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Brit Mimi, Mimi MMI, good morning, Sir Lloyd. God bless from Valencia City, Bukidnon. Good morning, Sir Jan. Mark and Michael Baring, good morning, ISM, Sir Lloyd. We'll talk about that. Norberto Balatbat, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Any com- comment on X and the web? Alright, I'll check out the chart. Um, Si web, hirap na namang umakyat uh, lately. Uh, so, hopefully, gumana na siya, but Anyways, uh, Ido Alma, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasuyo po ng Wilcon. Alright, let's check out Wilcon. One moment, please. Alright, so... Amiel Angelo, thank you so much. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, everyone. Lorwin A. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasilip po ng Tugo, Picor, and M-Wide. Alright, ch- let's check these out. Morning. Um, yan. Uh, Dana Oops Naging moderator right, Dana so, Thank you so much po For the donation Right um, Matutuwa si Bido dyan Right Emil Angelo Sir Lloyd CPG naman Po dyan uh, si, CPG may resistance eh Hindi ko re-recommend si CPG ngayon right, so, But let's check out CPG pa rin um, So I'll write this down Time check It's 8.36 in the morning um, Ian Uh and Ali, right? Sulat natin. May request pa pala siya si Ali. Alright. Um, I am John Cantor. Good morning, sir. Insights po kay IRC. Si IRC, nag-bounce na. We were waiting for the bounce. And ayan na, nag-bounce na si IRC at last. So, that's the entry point pala kay IRC. Oh, bakit hindi ko na ano si IRC ngayon? Di ba nag-bounce yan? Nag-fail ba yung bounce? Ay, o nga pala. Nag-fail pala yung bounce. Early part in the morning, kahapon nag-bounce na siya. So, we are nearing MA20 for IRC. Let's check it out pa rin later. Bas, pero, simple as that. Antayin nyo po yung bounce before you wanna get in for IRC. So, wala pa. Wala pang bounce. At yung sinasabi ko, just wait for the bounce. Kasi, baka bumagsak pa. Alright. So, let's wait for a healthy pullback before we wanna get in. Maganda po yan si IRC. Don't let the press action fool you. Ali Quicksilver, good morning, sir. Green TBGI, please. Alright, let's write these down. Si TBGI, then. Alright, so, na recommend naman natin yan si TBGI today. Um, Joy Joy, good morning. Uh, Dave, go up with that this morning to Sir Lloyd and Laika, everyone, and to my wife. Anyo nga say, an, an say yo sa inyo. Anyo nga say yo. Ayan. Raymond Arano, right? Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasuyo naman po, TBGI, ISM, and AC. Ayan. So, AC na lang isulat ko since the two are already there. Joy Joy, PCOR, and EW po pala. Right? Kamusta natin? Si PCOR hindi pa gumagalaw eh. But, yeah. Uh, we don't really know when a stock is gonna move all eyes kasi hindi makagalaw si PSEI kasi nakai 
<laughs> ang, bo- ang volume ni PSE uh, ni, ni, ng stock market na kay PHA. <laughs> so, hindi makagalaw si hindi makabalaw si PSEI. But still, very good. Uh, Papa Pips, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good, God bless us all, traders. And good morning, Lorraine de Gus, P-Core, Tugs to Go, Meg and AC. Or at P-Core, Tugs to Go, Meg and AC. Uy, si Meg may maganda. Si Mega World ba yung may maganda news about um their rollout today, um, this year? So that might be good for Meg kasi nga ang taas na ni Meg for me. STV Trader, good morning sir. ISM, thanks. All right, we'll talk about that. Lorraine de Guzman, ISM and CLC. All right, Mark Lester, good morning sir. Lloyd and Laika, pikibati naman sa wife ko, si M. Sagardose. And good morning to you both. Watching here in KSA, good morning sir sa lahat ng TBC, the Billionaires Club. Club. Happy trading to all PIP. Mamalihog ko. Salamat. Let's check out PIP. PIP. And Lorraine de Goose, Vol IRC. And si Vol, hindi natin na kamusta. So, kamusta natin si Vol. Alright, hopefully, dumating pa tayo dyan. Roger, uh, it's 8.39, almost there. Uh, Roger Aguilar, watch out. ISM after lunch today and tomorrow. AOTS, Kong, uh, Alignment of the Stars. Congress, SC, Malacanang, weather-weather lang yan. Alright, so we'll talk about that in a bit. Malapit na. Sarah Mar- Miranda, uh, good morning, sir. If you have any thoughts, uh, any comments about what's gonna be happening today, what you think is gonna happen to ISM today, post it in the comments. Pag-usapan natin yan ngayon. Uh, Ms. Pavillamore, good morning, sir. Lloyd, ipit na din ako sa ALC. ISM, investor mode na lang din siguro ako. MRSGA, please. Alright, uh, Ms. Pa, um, no, oh, no disrespect, ha. And ito, guys, what was your initial purpose in getting in the stock? Yan yung problema, eh, right? You have to define your purpose. Sa simula pa lang, hindi yun, uy, magtitrade ako, trade ko si ISM and CLC tas biglang along the way sab- sasabihin niyo na lang na um, mag-investor na lang din ako right you're you're destroying your system you're breaking your system and that becomes a habit that's not good on your development as a trader so konting ingat po diyan right um i was like that before that was my mistake plan A pasok ko sa isang stock to trade it and then plan B dapat is to cut your losses if trading talaga ang entry nyo hindi yung plan B oy mag investor na lang ako kasi that becomes a habit and that's gonna be detrimental to your development as a good trader right so konti ingat yan miss pa Raymond Arano bukas kaya bukas kaya office ng 2 Trade Asia kapag Saturday mag open kasi ako account sana this Saturday Feb 2 after sa eToro seminar um Raymond I'm not really sure if they're open on Saturdays I don't think so right um ang alam ko din la Saturday yeah. um, so pwede naman siya ano eh pwede nyo naman ipadala and then mag Skype lang naman siya, sila right you, you can ha- you can set a meeting and Skype pwede naman yung ganun so don't worry about that right so um doon lang muna hanggang doon lang muna uh, um, Julius I'm gonna go back to your comments yung mga kakaano lang uh, uh, yung mga kaka comment lang right um pag-usapan natin yan. So, we're gonna be talking about the topic now. Um, but before that, we wanna thank our sponsors, 2 Trade Asia. Check out 2 Trade Asia, 2 Trade Asia.com if you're looking for a good broker. And I'm recommending 2 Trade Asia for you, especially for trading. Yet, mabilis po, reliable. Uh, the support is there. Ang bilis po, sumagot na support. Um, the good thing about it is my mobile app sila with a watcher so that even if lalabas man po kayo, Right. You can always, always, always cut your losses or para, baka may buy signal na kayo, nag-aabang kayo ng presyo and you're outside and yun yung po mamiss ang opportunity. So check out 2 3 asia 2 3 asiacom Itoro po, um, yeah, create an Itoro account using my link below. Hindi po sasayangin yung opportunity sa Itoro. This is my Itoro portfolio. It's gaining right now. Um, with oil, I'm invested in oil kasi ayan, uh, maganda po ang chart ni oil. Right. Why am I recommending eToro? It's not just for trading. Mainly, I'm recommending eToro for those people, mga Pinoy natin, especially OFWs na walang oras mag-trade. Kagandahan nito is you can copy trade. Instead of trading on your own, just look for people like my name, so search El Bazaar. Then you can copy dito, dito, on the uh, right left side. Just click on copy people and then look for people. Makikita niyo po yung stats, stats nila. Right, so for example, um, I'm recommending this guy, Ames Trader. Right, so I'm recommending this guy. This guy is good. Right, um, 114% the last 12 months. Uh, in stats niya, makikita niyo po, um, January negative 0.30 lang naman, but look at the 2018 stats niya, isang pulang month lang. So this is very good as an investor, right? So I think this is this guy is good, he's been pretty consistent lately. So 
Uh, pwede nyo po siya i-copy trade whatever he earns in the coming months yun rin po yung uh, kikitain ninyo so sitting pretty lang kayo and then wala pong mababawas sa earnings ninyo kasi si Itoro na po magbabayad kay Ames Trader for the gains from you right because they get, they get something from the gains then um, si Itoro instead of giving uh, diba may broker fees tayo so instead na ipocket lahat ni Itoro yung broker fees na yan binibigyan lang percentage kay Ames Trader kasi Ames Trader did the trade for them so kagandahan nito is sitting pretty lang kayo wala kayong ginagawa you, uh, you will be earning like other people Mahal kaya dito sa Pilipinas, ang mga mayayaman dito na walang oras, anong ginagawa nila? Pumupunta sa institutions and kumukuha ng fund manager. Dito po, fund manager, very, very, yung mga fund managers makukuha doon, hindi nyo pa makita yung statistics. Dito makita nyo po ang statistics, pati yung portfolio nila, ano saan nila pinapasok, right? So, that's the beauty about this right here. So, check out itoro at itoro.com. Right, so I'm gonna go down to our topic for today. And ah, sa itoro pala guys, please use the link na sa video description to create an itoro account. That's gonna help me in return. Right, thank you so much for that. Um, okay, today ang hot topic is ah, uh, tawag nito Senate hearing for ISM. Ayan. So, uh, may scare kahapon na. Sabi ni uh, Senator po, she has a good point, right? She has a good point. Kasi if ever they, sabi niya is, if ever they find something out, may problema, yes, ang magiging recommendation niya, ang kinoconsider niya is, mas matatagalan daw. If ever, magka-problema talaga sa franchise ni Ms. Datel. So, it's a good option din, if ever, mag-rebid na lang. A rebid daw is much better, a much faster dan baka magka problema na naman uh, magka problema tayo sa franchise and then mas tatagal pa so mas magiging matagal if ever hindi magrebid um that's the side of senator po that she has a good point right um but then again eto guys isa sa i consider nyo talaga senate cannot do anything about the franchise all they can do is recommend if ever they recommend na mag na na mag ano na mag rebidding that's gonna be bad pero hindi pa naman final decision yan it will be supreme it will be forwarded to supreme court and um either supreme court or the congress if they recommend na tang hindi naman sila magre-recommend na ano eh uh, mare-recommend lang talaga nila is mag rebidding right it's gonna be doing rebidding so you forward na sa supreme court and then and if they go to the supreme court the case goes to su- supreme court eto na, eto na yung masayang part. I don't think magkaka-rebid. Number one, legal process, uh, legal process wise, uh, dumaan naman sa tamang process si ISM. Right? It was the government who mentioned Miss Latel that their franchise is good. So, hindi po problema ni Ms. Latel ang nangyari. It's, it, it was the government's problem if they declared Ms. Latel is good tapos bibabawiin lang pala ng gobyerno. Di ba? So, number one, the government's gonna be sued. Napakalaki pong gulo niyan because ang laki po ng in, in-invest ni Yudena sa bidding lang alone. Right? And then, sa, hindi lang sa bidding alone pati po si Chinatel. Ang laki na po na na-invest ni Chinatel. Ang dami na kaya nilang kinontrata ng mga ano, ng mga for 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 ng mga engineers, right? So that's gonna be a very big ano, that's gonna be a very big ang laking gulo niyan. The government's gonna be sued uh, uh, this way. Um, number two is Senate, I mean si Supreme Court Uh, this is gonna be san kind of bias but ang head ng Supreme Court hawak na ngayon ng ng govern uh, ng ano ng ng administration right may 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 bias na sila to help the administration and this is one of the biggest project of the administration so i don't think they're gonna be revoking and and going for the rebidding unfair po actually unfair po siya sa Yudena if they do that kasi wala namang mali si, ginawa si Yudena right ang mani, mali is the government right so that's gonna be a very big problem for the government if they uh, issue a rebidding so I don't think it's gonna be a rebidding there's gonna be a rebidding um, with the rollouts that uh, Miss Latel is showing already in China Tell they are really confident that this will 
happen already. And then, napakaliit lang po ng problema sa franchise. Um, pwede naman may hilot yan. Considering that hindi lang naman si Miss Latel ang may issue sa sa franchise. So, they will be diverting the issue to that franchise. Kasi yun lang yung problema eh, about the franchise. So, anong gagawin ni Supreme Court? Most probably, they're gonna be ruling out na um, all the franchise. Hindi nila pwede cancel yung 90% ng franchise na may problema. Not just Miss Latel, right? If ever ikakancel man ang franchise ni Miss Latel, ang dami pong mga kakancel. So ang mangyayari niyan is they're gonna be giving a timeline for all those ano to be fair with everyone. They're gonna be uh, most probably ha, they're gonna be um, setting a timeline for all the franchise holders to abide with the rules of the franchise. So may room pa to abide for the rules of the franchise. So that's that's mo- the most the most probable na mangyayari sa Supreme Court. So with that, I don't think I don't think magkakaribid, right? Maybe my own bias, maybe you have your own point. Siguro po uh, just let me know put post it in the comment pag-usapan natin 'yan. Um I don't think there's gonna be a rebidding. So kahit na i-endorse na Senate, number one the Senate, I don't think i- they're just considering some things, but worst case scenario lang sinasabi ko, hindi ko naman sinasabi na maga, yun yung sasabihin ni Sen- ng Senate ngayon, right? Uh, we still we'll still think about it later so, uh, we'll, we'll still know about it later sa developments, so, tututukan ko po yan I'm gonna send you new updates sa uh, The Billionaires Club if ever may update sa hearing uh, if it's bad news, then most probably ISM prices are gonna go down, um but anyways we're not into ISM just for the telco Ika, yeah, sabi ko nga sa inyo guys um, the, the telco is just a bonus for ISM right? ISM overall still a good investment without the telco because of the developments and the projects of Udena right? so I'm gonna go to your comments first right? uh, opo $200 sir it's minimum $200 account opening sa Itoro you do not have to pay for the opening right Pag opening open yun ng account, you can test out the account. Um, or virtual trading jan. Should you decide to copy trade, then there's the two hundred dollars na. Sir Jasper told noon five pm po Dubai five fifteen. Uh yes. Uh, uh sana girlfriend ko kasing ayos mag reassure sa akin kutulad ni Sir Lloyd <laughs> from Emmanuel. Grabe naman, right? So okay naman po yung sounds. Um, Miss Latel is looking na daw for office space here in Cebu. Serious tama yan. Um. They've all already been rolling out. So the the business has been shelling out so many so much money already. So it's going to be unfair for ISM there. I mean for for Supreme Court to cancel for a, to do a rebidding, right? Napakalaki na po ng oras na nasayang, uh, money na nasayang. So it's going to be that's not going to be a wise action for to do, to do a rebidding. The best thing to do about that is to strict uh ang problema kasi is not with Miss Latel. Eh. The problem was with um yung regulatory talaga for the ano for the for the franchises. So most probably uh people are uh, the Supreme Court is going to be putting a deadline for 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 the franchise rules to be followed by all the franchises to be fair, di ba? So hindi po ikakancel yan. Malabo po makancel ang ang franchise na yan. Right. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Makisuyo po kay Tech. Right, pabati na rin po. Tech, I already recommended Tech. Nasa support pa rin si Tech. So, it's still okay. Shows DV, my sound naman. Uh, good morning, um, Jasper. Sir, good morning. May afternoon session po ba ang seminar nyo dito sa Dubai? Thanks. Afternoon session po yung seminar sa Dubai. Nga pala, speaking of the seminar, um, Dubai po, Feb 15, Feb 16, Abu Dhabi. That's gonna be 12 to 5 in the afternoon. Right, sagot ko na po on lunch. <laughs> so, send me a message if you want to join that Qatar po. Mga traders din sa Qatar, I'll see you there. 12 to 5, then send me a message so that I can uh, I will uh, uh, I can send you the details. Um, Thanks. Uh, Gano po ka safe ang Itoro from Anina Morata? Itoro has been around since 2007 po. Ang tagal na po ni Itoro. So, it's a very safe, ano, it's a very safe platform. Right. Paano ba mag-open ang account sa Itoro? Dollar po ba? Um, dollar po siya but you can use your credit card to fund it so it's automatic it's gonna be automatically this uh converted right pwede pong uh debit card if your debit card allows it pwede naman um 
Thanks sa info about Itoro, sir, from Jessica. You're welcome. Good morning, sir. Lloyd. Like a bido po. Shout out po sa sister ko na si Claire na nakikinig po. Nag-aaral. Happy trading. Good morning po sa inyo. How much po sa Itoro? 200 USD po for copy trading. New um, po, new bidding better than having Miss Latel questioned in court. Totoo yan. Yun yung sinabi ni, Gray, uh, ni Grace po. New bidding is better than having Miss Latel questioned in court. Pero then again, the question again is about franchise the miss uh, the misses in franchise uh yung sinabi ni senator miguel subiri it's not it's a non factor because it's not hindi lang naman si miss latel ang may misses eh. if they will go to that if question talaga ni sila si miss latel if they will cancel uh, miss latel's franchise then they will be canceling all the fr- um, majority of the franchises already out there diba so It's not. Uh, it's not gonna be a, go- a wise decision for the government to cancel all the franchises out there, de ba? So, magagawa talaga ng government is strictly impose, give them a timeline to comply with the kulang. And I think makakomply naman walang problema yan. Pera, pera lang naman yun eh. Right? Makakomply naman yun ng mga may franchise owners. If ever worst case scenario, ganun po yung mga yari most probably. Right? Uh, hindi siya worst case scenario, but that's the likely. Uh, that's the likely. Uh, event that will happen right projected price uh, and news on my channel um, keep a separate tab open while learning from Sir Lloyd's lecture thanks right Annelene paano po mag-watch her sa 2 Trade Asia through SMS po ba through email po siya i-email po sa inyo so on your phone activate lang ang notification for your, example Gmail so yung Gmail nyo magno-notify kung mag- nag-email sa 2 Trade Asia BIMO sir good morning Pwede, uh, no need or green Uh, we need to see a green before adding up on ISM or wait on good results after January 31. Very good question. Si BIMO is asking if maganda na ba mag-add kung mag-green si ISM or better wait for after January 31. I'd say wait for January 31 lang. Alright. Um, that will be the best. Uh, pero pag- yun lang yun ang problema. Baka gumalaw na ngayon tapos January 31 mal- malaki na. So it's really hard to tell. At the end of the day, slowly accumulate lang pag may, may green you can average down pero wag po ilalahat right antayin niyo po wag mo muna i-add lahat when you average down hindi po average down na all in naman sa average down don't do that right so um sir Lloyd newbie question i was observing pha yesterday biglang tumaa at price niya at 3 pm na sunod-sunod pag akyat just curious ano po meron sa 3 pm when it comes to trading no it's not really that um tinitingnan kasi nila kung bumababa na yung presyo. Actually, hindi lang hindi siya sa 3 p.m. umakyat. We'll talk about that in a while. Very good. Ano? May disclosure si PHA. Yes. Tama siya. We'll talk about the disclosure in a bit pagkatapos natin sa issue about ISM. So, I hope I've, I was able to uh, an, um, uh, discuss sa inyo ano mangyayari kay ISM. Right, guys? My point is um, hindi po magka-cancel si Senate ng uh, hindi po sila makakapag-decide niyan si Supreme Court po And then, when it goes to Supreme Court, the decision will most, most likely favor ISM because pabor na po sa administration ang Supreme Court. And this is a very good development. Overall, titignan naman nila, titignan naman nila, ang, ganito kasi yan sa, sa korte talaga. What is, if ever may makita silang problema, what is, is it intentional? Right? Is, is it intentional ang mag- uh, is the fault intentional number two is what is the purpose of the fault diba so number one uh, the fault is not intentional it's mali po ng gobyerno so that's one thing they will be considered kasi pag sinadya talaga ni Ms. Latel yan yung problema yan then Supreme Court is gonna say no this is not valid but this is the government's problem so usually pag ganyan ang situation um, they're gonna try to fix it with be, while being fair to Ms. Latel because it's not their fault. So, yun, yun, yun po yung gusto ko sabihin. That's why I think the scenario will be if ever pasusunod talaga nila yung franchise, then they'll be giving a timeline para ma-follow po yung franchise kasi hindi po mali ng uh, it's not the fault of Ms. Latel. ba? Diba? So, yun. Um, the third thing is, yun, um, the decision, kahit man, mag, uh, I don't think mag re Because it's gonna be a very, it's gonna be a very messy process. And dami pong kasong mangyayari niyan pag nag-rebid. Uh, the government is gonna be sued by China, right? It's gonna be, it's gonna be total chaos. Ang laki na ng pila ng na China na pera for this. And dami, may mga, and dami ng developments, and dami ng oras na sayang, and stress ni China tell. So, yan. So, those are my three points. I don't think it's gonna be a rebidding for me, right? Um, you can say it's biased, but with the with the with the with the with the uh, 
with the with the facts that I'm showing you, I can tell you it's plausible talaga. Right? It's I don't think magkakaribid ang gulo po niyan kung magkakaribid. If ever magkakaribid man, my fourth point is if ever magribid man, we went into ISM not because of the third telco. Ni recommend ko po yan sa ISM because uh isa uh, talaga si Udena magiging Udena na sila for that alone is gonna be a very big factor para, para uh, pwede po nating mag- pwede po tayong mag-invest kay ISM as I mentioned before bonus lang po ang third telco and it's a very big bonus right um, Sir Lloyd what's your take on mga stocks na may trade count less than 100 eh, example tech at 60 trades kahapon hesitant akong basukin since may uh, since may mga more experienced traders um It's not gonna be very volatile, but the position is good. Kaya, kaya whenever the volume comes, you're gonna be at a very good position. Okay naman siya test by talaga, right? So, that's not really gonna be a problem. Mas lesser lang ang chances na gagalaw ka agad. But still, a good position. Sayang naman yung position. Right? Bukas na po magiging Yudena si ISM. Hindi pa kaagad-agad, but bukas po yung um, meeting nila. Right? So, uh, Ryan, Conception, Sir Lloyd, bakit po sinasabi ni Grace po na if they allow Miss Latel, baka makitaan ng problema sa SC na ma-question sila bakit in- nila inalaw. Samantalang may go naman po sa SC ang uh, Miss Latel, di ba? Yes, tama yan. Right? Um, their, uh, Senator po is just playing mind games with Supreme Court. But in the end, wala pong ano ang Senate. Ang gaya lang po lang gawin is mag-recommend and magparinig about this case. So, wala pong, wala po talaga ano. Si, si Supreme Court naman talaga magde-decide niyan. And I think Supreme Court is gonna be uh, going uh, with the, ano, going with the uh, uh, with Miss Latel, right? Middle East here, inaantok pa ako. Good morning, Sir Horace. How, how much fee sa copy trade? Wala pong fee sa copy trade. Broker fees lang. Same with, actually, ang broker fee sa Itoro, mas mas mura pa kaysa sa 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 PSE. So, especially if you trade stocks lang. Um, depende kasi yan kung ano yung tinitrade tine- nyo. Sir, anong difference ng par value and fair value? Thanks, par value is somehow the original value, right? The original value of the stock book value nila current value lang ang tinitingnan niyo sa par value nila the fair value is you consider their future movements uh, their developments yung pumapasok ng pera sa kanila it's a very complex uh, it's a very complex na ano uh, it's a very complex na equation right so yun um for example ang par value ni ano book value ni JFC is around 40 pesos lang pero ang fair value niya is 300 Uh, even projected at 340 diba so napakalayo so it really depends on the ayun I already explained that saying mm, hi sir ano po kaya pal aakit pa same kay PHA dahil sa disclosure can't say na parehas na PHA but pal is gonna be an uptrend because of that alright Kevinson Parto San Sir Lloyd sorry out of topic tanong ko lang yung seminar on Feb 2 how to reserve ticket po pasensya na po Kevinson puno na po yung February 2 na event Uh, hindi na po kami tumatanggap ng registration. Pasensya na kasi. Um, to be honest with you guys, sorry, I don't really want to talk about numbers. Pero this is sponsored kasi by eToro, di ba? So eToro is gonna be paying major, uh, your ano, majority of your uh, of your of your entrance fee, right? The event, uh, the venue alone is two key per head. Wala pa yan yung fee talaga for the seminar, di ba? So, ginawa ko lang free yung seminar, but 1.5 lang po yung registration. Itoro is paying for the excess plus me uh, sa, sa uh, everything else. So, we cannot really extend uh, the number of seats. So, strictly po, um, yung reservation if it's only for 100 po. Kasi, uh, hindi na po feasible if ever magdadagdag pa kami. So, pasensya na. Puno na po yung February 2. I hope, gusto ko pa sana kung umakyat kung dadagdagan ni Itoro yung sponsorship to cover for the venue <laughs> okay lang pero hindi eh. scalping only for today PHA means po right um, uh, PHA projected price is 1.60 ayan nag open um, lumabas na projected price it's time to check the projected prices um, let me go open my ano muna let me open my uh, trading platform and so sorry about that prime to tradeation.com so let me log in all right so here it is so projected prices unahin natin si uh, pha right pha 1.65 pha closed yesterday 
at 1.58. It's gonna be gapping up to date 1.65. Tingnan natin development later. But there is good bids, 2.37 bids to uh, 2,000, uh, 2, 2 peso bid, 1.90. Maganda po ang bid. Bakit? Because of the disclosure today of PHA. So, punta na po tayo dito. Tapos na tayo kay ISM. Alright, so PHA, this is their, uh, their uh, what they call this, uh, disclosure today. And the important part of this is, ito po yung reply to exchange query. Alright, so this is um, in reply to exchange query dated January 29 to follow up. Nagpa-follow up po ang um, PSE on the PHA's January 22 disclosure on the MOMA between PHA and SAMA Global Investment. Alright, so here it is. Tuloy po, and this is the important part. Um, PHA application of pros proceeds, saan po nila ilalagay pre-HA? Uh, Corp has the following initial plans for the application of proceeds to funding fa facility for immediate implementation. First and second quarter of 2019, the company will be doing organizational strengthening, housekeeping, subsidiaries consolidation. This is in order to increase company profitability and bolster the management, execution, blah, blah, blah. Starting 2019 until 2021, the company will begin development execution of its Palawan Master Plan. Ito po yung sinasabi ko po sa inyo dati ang ganda po ng plano ni CPG and PHA sa Palawan. This is gonna be very good for those two. This is the reason why ni-recommend ko po si PHA and uh, if you can recall that, if you've been a follower of mine noon pa, PHA and CPG has very good plans for Palawan. Yan po. Uh, with the commencement of its initial phase, uh, nat, uh, na, nagtabon beach and its anchor development, four pace and everything um, but yeah so Palawan project CPG is gonna be very good so napaganda po ng disclosure ni ano na um, ni PHA this is the reason why you are seeing this gap up today PHA projected price 2 pesos na po ang dami pong nagbibid na ngayon sa taas Whew. ceiling I, I guess this is gonna be a ceiling again for today so ceiling um Bakit ceiling 1.74 lang ang lumalabas? That shouldn't be the case. It should be higher. Um, siguro ano ba yung closing kapon? 1.58. Let's do the calc. Uh, let's compute. Let's manually calculate our uh, ceiling price. 1.58. This is how you calculate for the ceiling price divided by two equals 0. 0.79. So 0. 0.79 plus one the closing yesterday, which is 1.58. This is the ceiling price of PHA today, 2.37. It's going to be opening at 1.80, so it's going to be fluctuating along the way. So, I guess hindi pa po titigil ang pag ni PHA, especially with this, ano, with this um, disclosure. So, I guess akyat pa siya ngayon. So, tingnan nyo po itong stock na ito ngayon. This stock is going to have momentum again today. And we, I talked, I taught you about momentum trading yesterday. Ang ganda po kasi ng galaw ng PHA. So, I think meron pa na namang opportunity again today. I'm going to share to you the chart of PHA. PHA. Alright. So, PHA, one minute chart. Let's do this. Alright. So, one minute chart. Yan. So, there was a divergence at around this area uh, somehow. Alright. So, I called this out yesterday. So, somehow, kumita ka agad siya sa scalping ng mga around 5% from this point to this point. That's 5% instant scalping gains ka agad and then binenta nyo ka agad. And then, there it is. Until that point, nag-double top na siya. So, that's an exit point. Alright. So, kahapon. So, I'm gonna be teaching you scalping again. So, this was scalping yesterday. Uh, around, anong oras ko ba out out yun, yung divergence? Uh, join the Discord, guys. Whenever I see an opportunity and I'm, I'm watching the market, uh, I shout it out. So, uh, tawag nito, uh, PHA divergence. So, I shouted it out at around 11.27, this is yesterday, 11.27 in the morning. So, tingnan natin ang chart ni PHA, 11.27 in the morning. Let me go full screen. Alright, so it was here, 11.27, right? 11.27. So, it was here. This bounce right here was when I shouted out that there's a divergence. There's already an entry for intraday. And then, there it is, 5% instant gain. And then, the second entry point, nung nag-downtrend na si uh, PHA, this is why I tell you guys, technical ana uh, if you do intraday trading, you have to master your technical analysis so that you can see patterns by the day, right? So, we have an engulfing pattern right here, 
right? Bollinger band, Bollinger band pattern. Confirmation yes, this higher low right there. And then we have a downtrend at around this area, this wedge right here. So when it broke MA20 and bounced at MA20, those are the perfect entry points. And kung kinuha niyo lang po yan and you just dared yourself, look at this. From this point to this point, that was instant 22% within the day. Diba? If hindi niyo man po nasakyan yan, tinuro ko po sa inyo kahapon, Bollinger Band Trigger, MA20 Bounce, there it is. And panalo pa rin kayo kung ginamit nyo lang strategy na tunuro ko po sa inyo kahapon. 13% instant win in the day. If you just put in 100k there, derecho po kayong may 13,000 pesos in the day. So today, same strategy for PHA. Balikan nyo po yung video ko kahapon about intraday trading. Everything happens, right? All of these things happen by the minute. So, kailangan lang po na mabilis na technical analysis that's why i always teach my students master your position trading first because it's the same technical analysis kaya po tinuturo ko yan kasi yung day trading you have to have the technical analysis as an instinct dapat uy eto may bollinger band trigger na may pattern na may it's a breakout pasok ka agad and then all you need to do is master your emotion para kung kailan mo cut loss cut loss din kagad mabilisan po decision making as in the day trading but there's potential earnings pa rin po sa intraday trade. Hindi ko lang siya nire-recommend on my position trade recommendations. Yung mga recommendations ko everyday are post for position trades but you can always there's always ano I always tell you na guys wala na position dyan but it still goes up because there's still opportunity to go in there but it's just that your risk is really high as a position trader. That's why I don't recommend it for position trading. Day trading is similar to position trading it's just that it happens so fast. Right? So congratulations sa mga nanalo kay PHA yesterday. Congratulations po. Today, I think it's still gonna move. So, if ever gusto nyo man pong pumasok kay PHA, tignan nyo po ang day trade and then day trading strategy na lang po tayo dyan. Huwag na po kayong pumosisyon dyan. It's already out of position. Right? Kung baka kung gusto nyo maging investor kayo, there's a very huge possibility na maging investor kayo bigla nito if you don't know what you're doing. So, please be responsible. Make sure you know what you're doing. 2.37 na po ang projected opening. So, I guess, ceiling na. Right. Magkano ba yung ceiling na? Yan. So, we computed it to 37. So, yun, ta yun talaga yung ceiling. That's how you compute for the ceiling. Right. So, it matched 2.37, 2.37. Anyway, so, anyways, PHA, day trading na lang po. Momentum trading, scalping na lang po. Pwede natin gawin dyan. Just get out. Right. Away, ganito po. Ha? Um, if you day trade, pag maximum niya, ibenta niyo po position niyo. Book, uh, sell half, right? Bukas, if ever, mayroon na naman position, just scalping ulit, right? Labas, pasok, labas, labas pasok, jab, jab na lang tayo dyan sa, uh, sa position ni PHA. Marami pong pera dyan, right? If you know your day trading already. Sayang, hindi, I'm, I'm busy. So, yun. Nga pala guys, um, today, it's 9-11. Today, uh, pasensya na, I think, hindi natin madadaanan lahat ng charts ngayon. But this is a very important discussion. I'm going to be starting my free portfolio consultation. Um, I'm going to be opening my schedule at around 1 p.m. I'm going to set the schedule at 1 p.m. I'm, I'm opening it for an hour. Uh, send me a message po. Uh, sino po mauna mang send a message eh po yung um, kakausapin ko uh, with regards to your portfolio if may kailangan um, kung gusto mo ng tulong sa portfolio mo send me a message po I'll set a schedule for you mag-usap po tayo right? it's gonna be free consultation that's part of the services that I'll be giving to you guys look at that foreign buying na naman ngayon so laki ng foreign buying ngayon so I guess today is gonna be green for PSEI yan 78 foreign buying sa open market opening right? projected price is 2.0 ulit but anyways yon. We'll go to our recommendations na for today. Ah, pala guys, this is the Discord group. Yet. So, Discord group. Ayan. So, ito yun. What do you mean, sir? Ayan, by signal na. Ayan na. <laughs> Sabi ko sa kanila, pumasok na kay ISM. Right. Um, so, this is the Discord group. If you're a newbie and you're looking for a good co uh, community to help you, this will be very helpful sa inyo. So, download Discord. Join the group. It's for free po. Yeah, um, dito po nag-uusap ang mga tao about their trading sa mga newbies especially meron po tayong room for the newbies meron tayong room for the traders dito yung mga makukulit 
para kung ayon yung gulo wag yun lang pong pasukin ito and then meron na investor lounge um, this is for investors lang right so TBC ayan so TBC uy may lumabas sa traders lounge merong oy ito I don't know this is how the senators vote validity yung messages yes so maraming yes and ito lang no Drilon, Risa, Bam, Kiko, Pangilinan bakit wala si Trillanes nag yes si Trillanes <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, um I think Senate's gonna be voting uh, majority kasi pabor dyan. So don't think it's gonna be a problem but worst case scenario lang that's the possibility that will happen din discuss natin kanina. But I'm positive with the outcome of uh, possible outcome of ISM. Anyways, this is the chat room. Join this, download Discord. Punta po yun ng video description. Andiyan po yung invite link para pumasok um, para makapasok po kayo sa mga newbies. Um, this community is gonna be helping you a lot in your trading. Marami na pong umaman dyan. Let's get rich together nga eh, diba? Alright, so now, my recommendations for today. TBGI, TBGI. Hopefully, the breakout sustains one day chart. Alright, so yesterday, TBGI did a breakout. Um, right here so yan um hopefully it's just this sustains get in near the support as much as possible this is the new support for tbgi if it sustains then that will be our uh support yan pwede nyo pong pasukin yan hopefully mag sustain si tbgi tingnan nga natin yung projected opening ni tbgi kahapon ang laki na selling ni eh. tbgi right so here uh medyo malaki pa rin ang selling at 4.90 for 4.85 the current price is 4.85 so marami pong magbebenta sa opening um marami rin naman ang buying so projected opening is positive so i think that's good yeah tbgi today right kayo na po bahala po position diyan hopefully makapasok kayo as near as the support as much as possible Right, TBGI, MRC. I'm recommending MRC for today. Hindi ko kasi ma-predict yung movement ng market. Eh. So, hopefully it sustains. Pag nag-sustain yung breakout, pasukin nyo na po. MRC. And si MRC created a support and we are good seeing good price action for MRC already. So, I'm recommending MRC for today. Yan. Pwede nyo po itest yung support ni MRC. It's been confirming that support a lot. MHC naman, look at this support right here. Right, so MHC is looking good. Sinasalo po siya. So there's a rejection of the uh, of the of the ano, Bollinger Band. Na green na naman siya. So I guess MHC is okay overall. Mura pa rin naman siya. So that's a good position for MHC. Next is Poppy. Right, by as long as the support holds for ano, MHC. Ha? Si Poppy naman, guys, good price action already for Poppy. This is an uptrend still. Right, si Poppy. Right, we are on the uptrend line of Poppy. So, that's sustaining. So, pwede nyo po pasukin si Poppy habang mura pa siya. Napakamura po ni Poppy. This is a very good company. Um, this is very cheap compared to how much Ayala bought Poppy. So, Ayala invested so much money in Poppy because they believe in it and they saw the potential. And then, yan na lang. Market sentiments has been down for Poppy since bearish market. But, expect Ayala to... Uh, to get in um, to make this stock good right poppy and that's a good entry point for poppy next is sec b sec b ma20 bounce for sec b already and then volume is uh, starting to spike up already on the ma20 bounce so sec b guys nas ma20 na tayo use ma20 as your support overall sec b still very cheap so sec b check it out next up is mpi i'm recommending mpi today may bounce na po tayo sa ma20 so by as long as the MA20 holds, but overall MPI is still very cheap. So, pwede nyo po pasukin yan si MPI. Um, ATN, guys. ATN. Time to buy ATN. So, we are on this support already. Nag-bounce na sa support. So, that's a good confirmation of the support. It's already playing on the upside. So, alam nyo po ang paakyat na yan si ATN. So, uh, ATN. Recommending ATN for today. That's the perfect entry point for ATN. UBP. UBP naman, guys. The support is holding on well. We have good volume spikes already. So, UBP. I think this is good for UBP already. Napakaganda na po ng bottom na ito. Very good divergence right here. So, UBP po. I'm recommending UBP for today. Very good divergence here. Ang ganda ng divergence niya. There. Right. So, those are my recommendations for today. It's 9.17. Guys, if you wanna join the seminar, yan, February 8 and 9. February 2 po. Pasensya na, puno na yung February 2 eh. Um, February 8 and 9, it's gonna be an online seminar. Pwede po kayo doon. Send me a message if you wanna join that. 
UAE, Dubai and Abu Dhabi, Feb 15-16. Qatar, Feb 22. Send me a message if you want to join that. Hindi ko po yung support ninyo. Please, mag-join po kayo. It's gonna be very a very good investment for you guys. Alright, so hindi po sayang yung oras ninyo, ang pera ninyo, most especially sa seminar. It's gonna bring you so much money, I tell you guys. Mga students ko dyan, represent, let them know that it's a, it's a very good seminar. Alright, so anyways, let's continue. And Sir, CPG, breakout CPG, and dami kasi fake dyan. So, kamustahin muna natin ha, kamustahin muna natin yung opening ni, um, uy, tumaas na naman si TBGI, 4950 na opening niya. So, let's go for ISM. Uh, projected opening ni ISM is 5.67, right? So, medyo bumaba pa, that's good, right? <laughs> I wanna buy that at 5.67. Um, anyways, um, next up is PHA, si PHA. 1.68 ang projected opening niya. So, bumaba po. But at the very least, it's still okay. So, you don't have to be aggressive in ISM. This is good. Panoorin niyo po ito for an opportunity to get in on the day chart. Uh, sa day, day chart niya. One minute charts niya. PHA, ISM. Sino pa ba? Yun. Yun muna. Um, si CPG daw. So, mag-breakout daw sa si CPG. 4.850. Uh, 4.850 naman yung closing niya. Ah, closing niya kahapon is 0.48. 4850 siya ngayon. So, I guess, yes, magbe-breakout sa CPG. I'd already recommended CPG. Antayin ko po yung breakout niya before I wanna recommend it again. So, 4850 is here. Hindi po siya makapag-breakout. Still at the resistance. But still, that's good opening. Baka mag-breakout yan anytime soon. So, let's go to the request. CLC, guys. Kasama yan ni ISM. Baka bumulusok din because of the bad news. So, Antay lang. Alright, sa mga nakapasok na kay CLC, you have the option to cut your losses if ever mahit ang cut loss nyo because you're trading it. But if you're investing it, guys, this is a very good company. Just keep buying more. Huwag nyo pong sasayang yung opportunity na magmumura siya. Alright, CLC Tugs. And si Tugs is still good to go. Nagsustain naman yung support niya. So, antayin nyo lang po yung bounce before you wanna get in Tugs. Alright, so, yan. Um, Si Pal naman, ang daming request kay Pal. Ah. Pal, sir, uh, from Ednova Esh. Pal po. Alright. So, Pal. Alright, may magandang news si Pal. So, this is a good bounce kay Pal pala. Eh, diba? No? So, let, let me see how much the risk is. Laki kasi ng risk ni Pal. Eh. Can't really, really can't position myself here right now. So, we have a support right here. Try to bargain as much as you can kay Pal. If position trader po kayo. Uh, ang, po, ang possibility po nito aakyat si Pal ngayon so pwede naman I just can't recommend it kasi delikado pwede nyo pong tingnan ang intraday movement nito ngayon for Pal so I think this is good for Pal naman right so Pal po tingnan nyo rin po si Pal today right um, next is Primex may question about Primex kanina PRMX right so Primex um, Green sir mag-breakout din ba? Hopefully, yes. So, you just wait for it to do a breakout. So, Primex is sustaining the support. This is good for Primex. Nag-bounce siya sa support. So, this is the best entry point at this area. Sayang. Dapat nagsiset kayo ng alarm and set it an alarm in the support. Hopefully, bumalik siya ng support. If ever. Kasi medyo mataas na yung risk niya sa current position niya. Get in near support as much as possible. Mag-alarm po kayo dyan near sa support. Alright. So, um, ATN Mer. Si Mer recommend ko yesterday. Kamustahin natin si Mer. Okay lang naman. Nag-hold pa rin yung uh, higher low niya. So, antayin lang yung green before you wanna enter. Mer. Paro nga ako. So, this is Borlitoy. Say hi everyone. Ito yung maingay kanina. <laughs> Makulit kanina. Alright, so down ka muna Borlitoy. Um, antay po ng bounce kay Mer before you wanna get in again. This is uh, this is a very good position for Mer. This is good price action for, for the stock. So, antayin natin yung bounce. BPI. BPI Ayan, si BPI Some of support is sustaining um, Antay ng green Pag nag-green yan, pwede na naman pasukin yan Kahapon actually, nirecommend kayo kasi nag-green Kaso nga lang, nag bumaba siya But the support is sustaining This is a beauty about the support Nag-sustain naman yung support So, still good Because the support is still holding But I don't want to recommend getting in today Antay niyo po yung bounce niyan Pwede kayo mag-end of the day Before you wanna get in um, BPI Ali naman si Ali uh, Ali broke MA20 so I guess tapos ta muna itong uptrend ni Ali let's wait for it to stabilize again and consolidate before we wanna get in Ali again alright so konting ingat muna kay Ali 
uh, iwas muna masyadong mataas na kasi yun eh bloom kung saan natin sa bloom right so bloom um, we're f- it's forming a triangle pattern if you wanna get in bloom better get in on a breakout kung saan ito mag breakout right so antayin nyo lang po yung breakout ni bloom before you wanna get in bloom right that's a triangle right there so antayin lang natin yung breakout uh, next up is X ayan So X I think it's come to a point na mura na naman siya. So this is good price action for mm, X but I really don't want to recommend X guys. I tell you my bias I don't, I don't really want to recommend stocks na pangit ang mga f- performance right mas malaki si S ang chance na magfail ang trade ninyo. So this is third quarter earnings negative 219 that's a very big negative. Second quarter earnings negative two two seven. That's very massive negative. So I don't really wanna recommend it, right? But price action wise, maganda niyo yung pinapakita ni X. Um, web, 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 web. Ato si web. Ayan. So now we are hitting support levels again for web. Let's see. Kung makita tayo ng mas massive na support and we have a divergence, magtuloy tuloy yung divergence. We'll just wait for the support. Right? Maganda naman yung pinapakita ng divergence ni Web. You don't have to be aggressive kay Web. Hindi pa naman kasi uptrend yan. So, next is Wilcon. Uh, hindi ko pa nakikita yung ano talaga confirmation ni Web. Eh. Still doing a downtrend. Si Wilcon naman. Alright, si Wilcon. Malapit na tayo sa resistance. So, I don't want to recommend that anymore. So, kung naingat po dyan. Alright, medyo mataas na si Wilcon. Dito, nirecommend natin yan. So, that was the best entry point for Wilcon. Um, Tugo Ayan, may request about Tugo It's 9.24 pala guys So um, So last two na lang po Si Tugo Still the support is sustaining At yung sinasabi kong support So you enter On the bounces If it's gonna go green today That will be a good entry point If ever it fails naman You just always cut your losses Always, always, always cut your losses This is not for a long term stock Hindi po ito for in, pang investing stock So wag po kayo mag invest dyan <laughs> Huwag po kayo mag-investor dyan. Ay, uh, Sir Lloyd, how about Vulcan? Naipit ako from Michael. Sige, tulungan natin si Michael kasi naipit daw siya. Um, Vulcan uh, triggered the lower Bollinger Band. So, you know where this is going. My lesson sa Bollinger Band, pag nag-trigger ang lower Bollinger Band, pababa yan, most probably. Downside and stock. Same with ISM. We talked about that. Nag- nag-trigger si Bo- ISM dito and then it was dropping down. But the good thing about ISM is meron tayong support dito. Right? So, we're expecting ISM to reach that levels. Uh, tingnan natin ang results ngayon so saluhan doon sa support if ever bumagsak man si Vulcan Vulcan wala tayong ayun meron pala tayong support eh, dito kay Vulcan so hopefully the f- support of Vulcan will sustain right for you guys for you I really cannot recommend Vulcan kasi yung akyat niya before is really speculative so for me this is still expensive for Vulcan I really can't see the uh, fundamentals of Vulcan yet eh di ba so yun um It's 9.26. Uh, tignan lang natin last ang opening ni PHA. Para konting ingat lang. PHA. Uh, projected opening 1.69. So, I think this is gonna be good for PHA. Pwede nyo pong intraday trade si PHA. But be responsible during your trades. Make sure you cut your losses if mali ang entry nyo. Kasi pag bumulusok yan, nako, magiging investor kayo bigla. Right? 1.70 projected opening. That's good. Right? So, that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Ingat po sa trades and I hope you learned a lot today. As always, let's get rich together. Sir, pahingi ulit ng Discord, please. Ayan, sa Discord, andyan po sa video description. Just open the video description and then may Discord link po dyan. Sige, lagay ko lang po sa comments so that you can go directly. Ayan. Alright, so, that's it for today. Bye, guys.